Anyway, it's late evening of the third day of Build Stuff and we're all tired and we're going to talk about some music finally. So, hi. Who are you? What's happening? And uh, you had a presentation like an hour ago. So, what up? Okay, I'm Laura. I'm a front-end developer, but my presentation was all about music and how we can code music. Because usually when we're thinking about the web and front-end, our full focus is on the visual part. And sometimes we forget that we have audio possibility in the web. My presentation was some part of the web apps, how we can incorporate music, but not only this. We use some live coding music, how we can do that, and you're already thinking what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> zippy, zippy, zippy. I've been creating music like half of my life, so what are you talking about? Yeah, this is only coding, where you can generate sound of the code, and in this way we can create music. Simple, we can say that I want to play some C4 notes, you yeah. understand, right? Yeah. And we Finally, I understand yeah, something. We're on the same page now, <laughs> and we can change it, we can create some algorithm, we want to play some list of notes, and we can do whatever we want. We can create a function loop, which is more programming concept, but we are still applying for the music. That mm -hmm. means that can be the perfect entry point for you, for example, to start learning something about programming, or for someone who does not know music, they can learn about music side. Uh, I, I actually know a few theories, like yeah. when you use math to, create, to understand mm -hmm. music and something, something. So yeah, that, uh, I mean, the geek world and the art world usually collide yeah. on that but uh my question is uh what is the progress of this i mean like mm. can we hear full on instrumentals on uh, made by the, this technology or 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 this what okay yeah you can do that's usually like sonic pi use sonic pi it was initially created for lessons at school how we can combine music and programming and but it was at the time so much improved that people started to use it as like music programming performances they were do doing on the stages. Okay. And we still cannot compare. We are not DJs who are coding this. Because the main thing that you can literally see what kind of algorithms they are using, how they are doing, that is very interesting. And you can do that in some sort of the parties as algorithm. You can see people are coding and dancing together. But it, it, we are not DJs who are doing that. I so, mean... Uh, 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 uh. Now, I'm, in my head is a picture, like, what is the yeah. difference between a DJ who yeah. uses technology and someone who's just, I mean, uses technology like Skrillex or something like, like that, just standing and pushing buttons on the computer? How do you know he's not coding, though? And yeah. what's the difference uh, between what you're talking about? How you don't know, because you actually don't, do not see how they are doing that. Because you don't see the screen, maybe they are checking the mails or just Most you know, probably. Play, playing some track. But if you're doing live coding performance, usually your full screen is all, uh, somewhere pointed and okay. you can literally see what lines they are writing that. So you cannot make some tricks here or you can probably create some another audio and so on just to play it. But still, this is the main point. And the main point that we're using different programs, we're pro using programming mm. languages since people are developers who are using that. And what programming languages? I will not know, but still, you will know. <laughs> they will know. What programming languages are uh, yeah. good to use for that? Uh, the one which I uh, showed is Sonic Pi, which was specially created for music programming. But we can use our universal programming language as JavaScript. Everyone knows JavaScript. We can do Even it. I do. <laughs> you know, right? We can do that. We can use special like environments as Jibber, or we can do that in the browser console, the Web Audio API. So there are different ways. You need to Google your preferred ones, mm -hmm. but there are many different ways how you can do it. Because, you know, the idea of music programming is not new. 1843, that was already introduced. That's completely another topic <laughs> and completely another stream. But uh, in general, where could we find your personal look on this? On the internet, maybe? You have something personal, website, something? Uh, I'm not sharing my uh, a lot of made uh, works, but I have some. So probably you can find on the LinkedIn, Laura. Yeah. Yeah, Laura Slonichuta, and then you can... Nobody. If you're from America... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can find an agenda, probably it's easier. 